My name is Natalia Rivera. I'm trying to leave a message for the loan officer, Mr. Brian Clamp. Yes, could you let him know I'm no longer interested in the home equity loan? Yeah, no, no, that's a, that's okay. I'm, I'm exploring other options. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. You all right? You okay? How's Rafe? What do you mean? My grandpa said that uh, he's, he got hurt. Someone in prison hurt him. Do you want to come in and sit down? Is it really bad? No, he's okay, I think. Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not sure that's the hard part. I'm sorry. We can make this happen. Yeah. I, I made it all happen. I can't believe how much pain I've caused. You didn't make Rafe shoot Jeffrey O'Neill. I mean, that's the reason why he's in jail. Yeah, but I am the reason why you guys came to Springfield in the first place. Okay, this has nothing to do with that. Yes, it does. You guys came to Springfield because of me, and then, you know, right off the bat, Rafe gets in trouble and he winds up in juvie. Because of a choice that he made. Right, but then, you know, he meets me in juvie, and five minutes later, you know how that ends, I'm pregnant and having an abortion. Daisy. Well, yeah, but then, you know, okay, so Rafe meets Gus, his father, they're just getting to know each other, and then he loses Gus, and then he shoots Jeffrey to protect Gus's memory. It's all so messed up, and it all started with me. Maybe, maybe I never should have met Gus, you know? Maybe it would have been better if I just never got involved. Don't say that. It's really, really true. You know, things didn't really work out the way I wanted them to either. But the one thing that I'm really happy about is that Rafe got to meet his father and that he knew that his father... I will never be sorry about that. You should be glad that you're the one that brought them together. So I did something good, but I was going to do something not so good. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, Things don't always turn out the way you want them to, good or bad. I should know it just happened to me again today. What do you mean? If I had to go meet at the bank, meeting up with some loan officers. And I, I was trying to get some money together to get a really good lawyer for Rafe, and it all fell apart, as usual. I'll help. I don't want your money, Daisy. Oh, that's a good thing that I don't have any money. No, but I, I want to help Rafe if I can. I really appreciate that. After everything that we've been through, actually, he turned out to be a really good friend to my son. I care about him. Do so much, and it just seems like I keep failing him at every turn. No, oh, no, no, you're... I'm... Rafe doesn't think that. You are a very good mom. Thanks. It's kind of the one thing I always felt okay about. <laughs> well, you should. It's true. I wish... What? I just miss... with my mom's my adoptive mom died when I was little and, um... Well, Carly, and you know that story, so... I'm sorry, Daisy. And I'm, so, I'm so sorry. I know you haven't had to see either. It's okay. I'm, I'm okay. So, if, if you see uh, Rafe, tell him I said hello, that I'm, I'm thinking about him. I will. Talking to you has helped me make a decision. That? That I'm gonna go out into the world and just try and do something good for a change. Be good for you. No matter what my family says. Daisy. It don't really what I have to do. Bye, Natalia. Bye. And I know exactly what I have to do. I'm not saying I'm not interested. But you've hired someone else. No, but it's a big campaign. A lot of money, lots of people. Once you sign on, there's no backing out. I don't break my commitments. Well, what about your daughter? You said she came first. 
She does, but that means more than taking her to the park. I have this... I know someone, a single mother like myself, and she has a boy that she doesn't have the means to take care of, and I... I want to be able to provide for my kids, but I also want to be a role model. Well, that's quite a pitch. <laughs> I might have to use some of that in your campaign. Well, okay, then. If I sign on, I have another daughter. She's an adult. She's very business. I want her to be a part of the deal. See, this is why you are my choice. I do have to say, though, I've learned some more about you since I've been in town. People talk. <laughs> and what have you heard? That I'm a bitch? No. No? Oh, never mind. No, I heard you had a heart transplant. I'll put it to you like this. If you're concerned about my health, I have an eight-year-old daughter, and I can more than keep up with her. Any other questions? Yeah. When can you start? I don't know what to do, Nikki. I have to help our son. I know I do, but every... I should go. Guess I should get out of old homes. I'm tired of hanging around for too much. Too much time. Hello? Ma. Brave? You have one minute remaining. Brave, what is that? Ma, they, they timed the call, so we gotta talk quick. Are you okay? Is something wrong? Are you in a fight? Did you get in a fight? No, Mom, I'm fine. I'm just, I'm worried about you. Me? Don't worry about me. Yeah, well, I got a bad feeling, so... I know something's going on. I'm fine. 30 seconds. Wait, what? I could, Ma. I said I'm fine. Look, Ma, I can hear it in your voice. I know something's wrong. Just, what's going on? Nothing, Rafe. Would you tell me? I'm just tired. I've been working a lot of shifts. You know? How about you? What, what's going on with you? Ten seconds. Are you eating? Yeah, well, of course I'm eating. Three meals a day, remember? Five seconds. Rafe, hang on, okay? You hang on because I'm gonna get you out. No matter what it takes. You're gonna be in magazines? I am. I'm gonna be the spokeswoman for Mr. Decker's hotels. Cool. Yeah. I'm gonna have to travel, though. I'm gonna stay with Jane. Is that okay? That's okay. You sure about that? You got the power now. Yeah, I do. Are you okay, Mommy? Yes, I'm just excited about all my power. Maybe you can give some to Natalia. <laughs> Go on the other room. Just wait and see a better day come for When I walked into that let down the secret subtle breakdown, my chest was tired, I wouldn't release. You couldn't catch me letting in that speech. Just wait and see a better day will come for me. Calling it is Yes, uh, I'm Natalia Rivera. Can you please tell Mr. Russo I'm here to see him? 